Well, here we are again. We are all just sitting here looking for something fun to do. And drawing is fun. So I think we should do some of that. Uh, but first, I was wondering the other day, why is it so hot in baseball stadiums after the game is finished? And it occurred to me it's because all the fans have gone. Anyway, something to think about. All right, it's time to do some drawing. So we're going to start right now. Are you ready? Here we go. Grab yourself a pencil, grab a pen, grab a marker, anything, doesn't matter. And uh, maybe get some coffee grinds and put some water on them and just grab a chopstick and you can dip it in there and you can draw on the paper with that. Really, it doesn't matter. We're ready to go. We're gonna start with you draw it. And this is where I draw something and you follow along with me. We just draw it step by step and see what happens, okay? So let's start out with a sort of curved line like this, okay? Kind of like a setting sun. All right, now you follow along with what I do. We'll do this together. Next, I'm going to draw a line down like that. See how it's kind of at an angle? It's not perfectly straight down. And then another one on the other side, just like it. Same length, okay? Then we're gonna connect them. Boom, no problem. All right, now watch carefully. I'm going to draw a sort of an arc up and down. Okay. I want you to look at this shape that we've drawn and imagine the center of the shape. Okay. Because that's where I'm going to draw my next line. Watch this. I'm going to draw it up like that and then stop. Okay. Right about in the center. It doesn't have to be totally perfect. Don't worry, none of these drawings have to be totally perfect. They're all gonna turn out just fine. And then I'm gonna do another sort of an arc like that. See how it connects with the other side there? Same on the other side. And that's where we'll leave it for a second. So everybody can catch up. Okie dokie, now. Watch this. I want you to look at this line here on the left, this long line we drew. And a little uh, more than halfway down, I'm gonna stop right about there. And I'm going to draw a big curve and stop like that. Alrighty. And then on this other side, okay, I'm going to draw a smaller curve that stops there, like that. Got it? Okay. Now, I'm going to draw a line down. Stop again. Now, this line here doesn't come down quite as far as this one. Now, if you drew it too far in your paper, guess what you can do? You can draw this line a little longer if you want. You could add a little space like that. So you're okay. Now I'm going to draw a line straight across just past that other line. How are we doing so far? Following along okay? Now look at this. A little bump. Alrighty. And over here, another bump. All right. And then another line right up like that. I wonder if anybody knows what we're drawing. By now, you might kind of have an idea of what's going on here. Okay. Now, watch this. About halfway between where this line begins and ends here, this bottom line we've drawn straight across. About halfway, I'm gonna draw another bump like that. And then a big curving line up and around like that. 
Okay. All righty. Now we're moving back up here and I'm just going to draw a line across inside that arc. And then I'm going to color it. Just color it in, fill it in. All right, that's easy, right? Remember this line we drew right here? Well, imagine it just keeps going like that. Straight on through. All right, now here, watch what I do next. Make another kind of an arc up and around. Now, what do you suppose that is? I think we're figuring this out. Okay. Little circle right here. And a little circle right there. Starting to come together, right? We're drawing a dog. All right, next. This line that we drew here on the left, this long line, I'm going to keep drawing it and then carry it up and over just like that. Now on the other side, I'm going to do something a little different. If you wanted to, you could draw the same kind of ear. Okay. But instead, I want you to see what I'm going to do here. I'm going to start drawing this line up. Then I'm going to stop for a minute. Okay. And watch here. I'm going to draw a little arc like that. Okay. And then connect. And then come back down like that. So we're having one of the dog's ears fold forward. I'm even going to color in that part of the ear. All righty. Then on the left side, the left ear, I'm just going to make a couple of lines, one, two, and then three. And over here, one and two and three, like that. And here, just under the nose of the dog, I'll put a few dots. See that? We're almost done. Now, down here, I want to draw a line up like that. In fact, if you want, you can draw it all the way to that line if you want to connect them. It doesn't matter. And then this curving line that we did here on the right side. Watch, I'm going to Continue it until it bumps up against that leg like that. That makes this leg look like it's in front of the other leg. Overlapping things in drawing can give the illusion that one thing is actually in front of another. Let's do a little line here for the paw and another one there. And on this back leg, we can do one as well. Okay. What about the tail? Well, watch this. This line that we drew here on the bottom, I'm going to just carry it up and around like that. And then make a point there and bring it back to the body. And now we can do one of my favorite things, which you've seen me draw before, which is action lines. So two little lines right there and maybe two more right there. Just to suggest that this dog is happy and wagging its tail, right? Now you have some choices to make with color. Do you want to color this in? Sure, you could. You could also just use the same color you're using now. If it's a pencil or a pen or a marker, whatever it is. And you could do things like this. I could make a shape here and I could color it in. Give this dog a little more personality, right? And maybe I could add a little color to its tail. So do something like that. 
color that in. Okay. What about the back leg? Sure. I could add a little shape like that. Color that in. It's up to you. It's your dog. Do what you want with it. Wherever you want to add some bits of color, go right ahead. Another thing you could do with something like this, with a drawing like this, is you could change some parts of it really simply. Let me show you what I mean. I'll scoot him over here. He just went walking over to the side there. And then I'm going to make a copy of him, put him right there. I want to show you something. What if, let's erase away those ears. Don't worry, doggy. I'm going to give you new ears. These aren't going to be gone forever. What if I had drawn our dog and before I got to the ears, I did something like this. Draw them out to the side like that. And then just draw a little loop with points like that. You could color those in, right? Now you have a completely different dog. See how easy it is to change the look. You have a basic template for the dog, but you can change the appearance like that. What if for the eyes, I drew circles around them to make the dog look surprised? Like, whoa, what's going on? Draw a little exclamation point above that dog. Maybe the dog is surprised at something, okay? You could do that. What about if I, instead of drawing that tongue, just draw a little shape like the tongue and then a shape like this to make the dog look like he's opening his mouth in surprise. Both of these dogs have the same basic beginning, right? The same basic foundation, but we can change the look of them with just a few simple lines. Another thing you could do is when you're first drawing that head of the dog, make the lines a little shorter or a little more square. Try playing with the shape a little bit, but follow the same steps and you can add a completely different dog to the page. So that's something to try. Okay. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that uh, you draw it section of our day. And I hope your dogs turned out well and you're happy with them. You can always draw them again. You can always watch these again, by the way. Yes, I'm here live with you right now, but we record all of these. And you can always go to the behance.net slash live page and you'll find the archive of all of our videos just down below if you scroll down. Okay. All right, now it's time for the what is it section. So I'm going to be drawing something and you're going to have to guess what it is. All right, so why don't we take our dogs here and I'll pull out that shrinking powder from my pocket so we can shrink those down. There they go. Tiny dogs. We'll pop them up there in the corner for now. All right, so I'm going to draw something and you have to guess what it is. But before we do that, I want to mention that after we do this what is it section, uh, we're going to be having a little fun with an animal and activity. So I want you to be thinking about maybe an animal and a sport or a game, or something it could be doing. And I'll look for those suggestions in the chat right after this uh, section here, okay? Don't jump in too early because I won't be looking for another couple minutes. All right, so here we go. Time for what is it? All right, watch closely. Ready? Mm -hmm. All right, we're off to a good start here. Now, let's see if anybody can figure this out. Has anybody figured out what I drew? 
I'm going to look in the chat and see what you all think. All right, let's see. A Wacom stylus. Hey, free advertising for Wacom. Uh, it does look like a Wacom stylus, doesn't it? In fact, let me hold this up to the camera so you can see it. There is a Wacom stylus. That's what I'm drawing with right now. Hmm. Mechanical pencil, another great guess. It does indeed look like a mechanical pencil. Stylus, yes, yes, yes. Well, these are all great guesses, um, but I'm afraid to tell you that once again, these are incorrect. Now, it seemed to me that it was obvious that this was not a Wacom pencil. Hmm. Let me show you what it actually is. Maybe then it will become clear, okay? Hmm, let's see. Maybe if I do this, you'll immediately say, oh, of course that's what it was. I should have seen it all along. There we go. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Any ideas? Any ideas? Okay. Any ideas now? Is it starting to come together? I wonder if anybody can tell what we're looking at here. Now is it coming together? Remember those hands we drew last week? There's another one of those. And here's another one. Remember, you don't have to draw everything looking exactly the way it does in real life. You can just do fingers like this. Woo. Hmm. Zombie. That's a pretty darn good guess. I suppose you could call this maybe the original zombie because this is Frankenstein. So right from the get-go, I thought, well, surely people will be able to tell what I'm drawing. But once again, as it seems to always go, the guesses were a little off. Well, there you have it. A nice Frankenstein's monster. He looks a little unhappy, but that's okay. Maybe if we give him some smile lines. Oh, that didn't make it any better, did it? All right, well... There's your Frankenstein's monster, and I know it looked like a pen, but I'm sorry to tell you, it wasn't. Well, we'll shrink him down as well. I gotta get my shrinking powder here. Oh, I'm running low. All right, shrink that guy down. Ooh. And pop him here under the dogs. I'm ready for your suggestions about an animal and activity. And I'm gonna be taking a look at the chat here. Let's see, I've been Kyle Boozled, says Jan. <laughs> I didn't know that was an expression. I like that. Koi was correct, Frankenstein. Yes, got it right. Well done, Mr. Bin. A dolphin skiing. Good gracious. Dolphin skiing. How would I do that? Dolphins don't have legs. Parrots acting. Parrots acting. That's kind of fun. I think I could do a parrot acting. A parrot maybe doing Shakespeare. So I'll do a parrot doing Hamlet. It was, uh, I like that suggestion very much and I may as well go for it. Now, as always, um, I'll just, I'll read some of these out loud so people can hear them. Cheetah climbing a mountain, running turtle, elephant skateboarding, unicorn, terrapin cycling, monkey playing ice hockey, horse jousting, acting parrots. We have two acting parrots. That's a good suggestion. Kittens playing ping pong. Holy cow, that's cute. Let's keep that one in mind for tomorrow maybe. But show must go on. So here we go. I'm going to do a acting parrot. He's going to be doing Hamlet. So let's see. Here we go. Parrot, parrot. All righty. Remember, when it comes to sketching, I'm keeping it loose. And I'm just going to make these shapes big as I can.
And this parrot is going to be acting out the famous scene from Hamlet where he says, Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. Often misquoted as I knew him well. However, that is not really what he says. All right, now do we need to have this parrot in costume, I wonder. Should he should he be in costume? Perhaps so. Wonder. I wonder. Maybe so. Maybe so. We'll try the costume and see how that works. All right. Although I still feel like it's important to have those those parrot feet sticking out, right? This is one of my favorite things, these, these great suggestions that you all give me, and then I have to struggle to produce it in five minutes. <laughs> no, no, don't worry. I can do it. I'm up to the challenge. I'm up to the challenge. All right. Here is our parrot holding. Now, you know, I don't know how to really draw a parrot skull. So I might have to just do I'm holding a, a regular skull. Okay, that's what we'll do. Like so. And there's our sketch. And I'm gonna now go on top of it with a darker color. And here we go. Boom. Boom. These are where I try and use some more confident lines, okay? This is where it all comes together. There's that funny big parrot eye. I'm going to do a little circle around like that. And then, like, there we go. Maybe it's one of those parrots that has a nice feathery shape in the back there. I don't know if it's really a cockatoo or, or what, because I'm sure I would get that wrong. Everything I do is approximate, okay? There we go. And then he's holding the skull. Actually, I might have to get rid of the skull here. <laughs> I'm not sure if I really can get that right. There we go. Try this. Try personifying animals. Try making them have some personality that's more sort of like a a human. It's fun to do this. Get that tail sticking out the back. And then our talons. Look at that. And three. We'll hide that sketch. Oh, what the heck? We'll throw that skull in. Why not? And there we have the parrot. Ta-da! Lovely suggestion. I love it. Well, we have just enough time for a very quick art tip. And here it is. Are you ready? Next time you're drawing a character, okay? And you have to draw them from the side. All right. Remember that ears fall halfway back along the head. That's where they start. Look at that. Ears are not sitting over here on the cheeks. They sit halfway back. Cartoon or otherwise. Okay? Make sure you draw ears far back enough on your character to get them in the right spot. Okay? Thanks, everybody, for again joining me and having a good time with all this. I love your suggestions. I hope you enjoyed the draw along. I'd love to see your dogs. Post them on Twitter and please at me, at Kyle T. Webster. I'll see you again very soon. We're going to do this again tomorrow, same time. So take care, be safe, and enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you next time.